Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Dicart, and this is episode one of my Plutocracy Transport Let's Play. The reason I'm calling it my Transport Let's Play is because my focus will be on taking over transport companies, um, although I'm going to buy and sell stock in all the companies. But specifically, I want to focus on the transport companies first. Um, no particular reason other than the last playthrough I did on stream. Um, those seem to be, I, I seem to have better luck with them. So I'm going to give those a try. Um, so we've got a brand new game. And I'm starting me in Pennsylvania. My only reasoning for starting here is in case I ended up wanting to move. It's going to be cheaper for me to move to one of these other places if I need to. Um, but that's that's the only reason. Okay. So also next to me, I have a, a list. I, I went ahead and made a list of all these companies that are in Pennsylvania in a spreadsheet next to me so I can keep track of my buying and selling because I often forget, especially between episodes, like, what did I buy that stock for? And unfortunately, I haven't found a place in the game where it keeps track of that. So, um, so my plan is to do it on my own. So a couple things I want to try to do is I want to try to get five um, ambitions taken care of. Or, or no, these are negotiations. But, well, I want to do negotiations. That's going to come naturally. But I want to try to complete at least five ambitions as soon as I can just to get that first point. And then uh, I'll also, for the collector points, I don't necessarily want to collect a bunch of stuff because I'm worried that that'll push my maintenance costs too high too fast. But what I'm hoping to do is, uh, let's see, where are the collections? What I'm hoping to do, oh, that's connections, not collections. These are luxuries. There we go. Um, what I'm hoping to do is find, I'm thinking probably in here because so many of them are relatively cheap, but I'm hoping that if I buy just these type, I can get all the skill points for collecting, but I'll keep keep it relatively cheap. Plus I'll gain the influence bonuses. Um, but if I kind of spread them out all over, then, and I'm not sure if I'm correct in this, but my, my thought process is if I spread it out and I get, you know, two luxuries in each type or something like that, then I am increasing my overall wealth because of, I own all these luxuries, which will also increase my maintenance costs, I believe. Um, so I'll have to pay a lot more. So I want to wait until I control a company and are making good money before I start really delving into other luxuries. But I want to get ones just to get those first few points. Um, so anyway, what I want to start out doing is first I want to look at this and see who pays good dividends. Okay, so we have a couple places. Well, we have a few places that pay out decent dividends, but these are profitable, especially Globehead right here. So if I can buy into these companies, I should make some money because I want to, my goal is to keep this in the positive. The higher the positive, the better, but I don't necessarily need it to be, you know, oh my gosh, I'm making millions. Um, so I want to do that. I want to buy into companies to keep that going, but I also want to do the ambitions. So let me look at those first. But now that I know that there's at least a couple companies I can kind of look at. Um, in fact, let's look in here. This guy wants to sell stocks and required zero influence. So that's good. Alarmists can be good to trade with eventually. All right, here's a calm person that costs zero. So this is the person I'm going to be dealing with the most on this company. Even though stat-wise, I might not be able to get good deals. But early in the game, I don't want to kill their loyalty towards me. So I want to deal with calm people until I get that built up so I don't, I'm not affected anymore. Let's look at these guys. Oh, wait, this is who I just looked at, isn't it? Let's look at Globehead. All right, uh, there's a calm, calm person here, but they are going to cost some influence. And that's it. So I might not be able to deal too much with these guys. Who's the next one? That would be Reed Oil. Because they're in the positive. One calm person here. So I'm going to be able to deal with them a little bit. But in general, I think Stewart Inc. is the 
company I'm going to try to buy into first. It's going to take me a bit before I have enough capital because my goal is to buy into the company as quickly as I can instead of buying just a little bit and then just hanging on to it forever. Um, I kind of want to build up stocks and I might buy stocks in this company, but then just sell them again. Um, and I just want to turn over stocks until I have enough to take control. So more than half of this. So, you know, maybe 1.6 million. Once I have that much money cash, then I'll go in here and try to buy up all the stocks as quickly as I can and try to just take control of the company right away. Um, that way I don't have parts of it sitting in here that are just sitting there and they're not really making me too much money. Um, I need that cash on hand to be able to take control and then I can start growing the business. But anyway, that's my plan for this episode. I guess I should stop talking and start playing, huh? <laughs> Some people might uh, prefer that. All right, so we'll go into Persian search and filter, and we are in Pennsylvania. So we will start out here, it looks like. We're not going to go ahead and move. And right now, all we can really do is, oh, we can actually look for someone that wants to sell their shares. And we can look for someone that uh, needs a loan and that ambitions are doable. This is the important thing. If you don't click this, it's cumbersome going through this list. Okay, so I'm looking for someone with really low default risk. Like this person is at 92%. There's no way I'm going to loan them. 10%. That's not bad. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to right away do this. And then... The more loyal I get people to me, the easier it's going to be to trade stocks with them in the future. So I think for now, that's going to be my main focus. And I also want to, if I can get a Cardinal, I'm going to do that. Oh, this is a decent one. Oh, look at this. This would loan out almost all my money. But the risk of default is 0.24%. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I'm going to just do it. So even though I only completed two ambitions, there's a cardinal. So I want to take the cardinal because I can use that on any religious characters to increase their loyalty. Um, and I only have 15.3k left, but I'm already in the positive. So let's keep looking. I'm looking for somebody else pretty low. It's tough to find people that are really low. On their default and I don't know exactly when it changes so like this person right here's risk of default is 42.3 percent I don't know if that will stay 42.3 until he completes that ambition or if after a year it'll switch or whatever I don't know if it ever refreshes to something different um, let's keep it let's keep track on, on that and and see specifically okay so who was I who was I thinking of this one right here so Ashton Rodriguez. I wish you could flag somebody as important. Ashton Rodriguez is 42.3%. I'll try to remember that, although I'll most likely forget. Um, so anyway, uh, it doesn't look like we can loan any more money out to anyone. And there's no one that wants to sell their stocks that would sell enough that I could afford it right now. So we're done with this. Now let's go in here. Look for Foster Mining, and we want to purchase as many stocks as we can in Foster Mining. And we want to try to purchase them from this person right now because we don't want our loyalty to be affected if, if it doesn't go through. So it might be a tough deal, but we'll give it a shot. So for now, we go all the way up and round one. and. Right now, it's about saving money and flipping these stocks. So, yeah, see, it's too slow. We're not going to get this one. Okay, and I believe there was no one else that was calm in Foster Mining. So let's try Globehead. There's nobody calm. Oh, no, this person's calm. And I can. I'll go ahead and deal with this person. Okay. And we want to try to save as much as possible. Ooh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Ah, I didn't get it. Okay, and that was it for that. So we'll back up. And let's try read oil. Anyone calm in here? Yes. Try Richard Reed.
So we're going to fail a lot more than we succeed in the beginning because we don't have the the talents necessary to really get a good deal. But we made this one work. So Reed Oil, I purchased for $10.40. So I've got that recorded now. So as long as it sells for more than that, then I'll sell it. All right, and we've got this in the positive. And now it's just a matter of uh, waiting for someone to buy our stocks. So come on, someone buy our stocks. So I think this is the route I'm going to take for quite a while until I get a, a good chunk of money. See, I can't afford this right now, but these are the sorts of things I want to go ahead and purchase. If I can keep all this, I don't know what it's, alcohol and tobacco, I guess would be what it is. Those are what I want to collect just to try to get those talent points. Okay, and then once this quarter's over, I, I couldn't remember if any of my loans were only for a single quarter. We'll find out in a moment. Okay, nope, they were all for more than a quarter. So we only have 7.89K, but that's all right. Let's go right back in here for Reed Oil and try to do this trade again. It's not going to be for much because we're not dealing with much money. Oh, it's actually moving pretty good. All right. So $9.11. What I bought it for before was $10.40. So I'm still going to have my $10.40 be the, my, my marker. So I won't sell for less than $10.40. All right. And now we're waiting, hoping someone will buy this stock from us. If not, we are slowly making a little bit of money. So that's good. Our wealth's already up to 107K. Here we go. He wants to buy for 10.3. I, I purchased it for 10.4. So I'm going to refuse that, unfortunately. Now, remember, I purchased twice. The first time it was for 10.4. Um, second time it was only for $9 and something. So technically, I may have come out ahead had I sold. But I'm not positive on that, so I want to be sure. Because I'm not keeping track of number of shares so, um, bought at what amount and all that stuff. Because that seems like way too much effort. <laughs> okay, next time around. And it looks like we still have loans out. Um, because otherwise this would shoot up from people paying off their loans. So if we go here and look, we have these two loans out. And yeah, I mean, they're, they're paying me back slowly, but when these loans are finished, I wish you could see the details of the loan somewhere. So let's say assets. Loans. Yeah, it just says 73.4K, but it doesn't say how long. But if it would tell me how long, I would know when to expect that money back. Um, but anyway. Now, are we making any money off of our shares? We are. $855. So uh, we're making a tiny little bit of dividend off that. Okay, hold on. What do we have here? Oh, look at this. I'm going to go ahead and do this because if I'm lucky, I might be able to get this. Um, but if it if it gets marked up too much, I won't be able to. So I'll push it. Market price is 973 and I can't go that high anyway. So I'll just go until I'm done. Boom, I got it. Okay, so that gives me 10 influence, which is great. But uh, the main thing is I, I want to be able to have those things in my collection just to get the skill points. Once I get three items of that type, of the alcohol and tobacco type, I get some more skill points. Okay. Oh, here we go. Read oil at 10.2. No, nope. I'm not going to do it. And the unfortunate thing is every time I refuse, their loyalty towards me goes down, which seems ridiculous. Okay. We can't afford too much, but why not, right? 
Foster Mining. Let's go. Try to save a little bit on this one. Oh, that was very close. Very close. Globe head. So it's just that one person. Okay. Okay, so we're still waiting. Oh, wait, we got something here. Oh, I, I couldn't afford it anyway, but this is also in that category. So if I had had the, the money, might have been worth it. I just hope this Reed Oil Company <laughs> actually does well enough for me to turn the stock around for a profit. Because it could backfire on me big time if that company starts tanking really bad. Because both of them last. Usually when I buy stocks, the next time someone pops up and offers to buy them from me, it's it's a pretty good offer. Like, I'm making money on it. So the fact that I've had two right now that we're under make me think I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay, so at least one of those loans got paid back. So we're at 82.5K here, but we are losing a little bit of money. So let's go back into the ambitions and see if there's somebody else we can loan some money to. Because we want to do, I believe it's five... Five ambitions. Oh, here we go. 6.86 .6 for one quarter. I didn't mean to click on her, but we'll take it. Okay, and then I don't necessarily need either of these, so I'm going to just get some loyalty with her. All right, and let's keep looking here. 25, 68, 22 is not bad, but I still don't want to risk it because if you watched my last playthrough i uh yeah i lost a lot of money loaning it and then having people default one of the loans was for more than three hundred thousand. okay this is only a 15 percent i'm gonna do this one and then this 6.96 percent wow okay do this one. This might be my fifth one. Yeah, so I got that achievement. Excellent. That is fantastic. Now here's the tough part. I can go finances to save myself a little bit of my monthly maintenance fees, um, which are good. I can go trading, which will give me an automatic discount when I purchase stocks from anyone, which will really help with flipping stocks. Then I can also do um, etiquette, which reduces the likelihood of getting a negative effect from negotiations, which is also extremely important because once I have this to level three, I, I can trade with anyone as long as I have enough influence and they're never going to get disloyal to me. Um, that also means when I make a positive trade, they're not going to get any more loyal. But, uh, or, or no, I'm sorry, that's when they have the calm attribute. So this would be, I think I might go etiquette. Even though I'm not going to save much on trading, I think etiquette's probably the way to go. Okay, I'm going to do it. Gamble taken. Um, so now, though, if I look at these, I just got this. Oh, no, I just got this. So I need 10 more ambitions. Here I only need three more negotiations. So I think it's time to go back to the stocks. Try to work with those a little bit more. Here, let's go here. And let's try to buy into some of these. And we still want to deal with the calm people because we only got that one point spent. And we're trying to get as much of a discount as we can right now. Success or not doesn't bother us. It's more about the discount at this point. Because we're not trying to buy in and take control of the companies. Oh, this is that Ashton Rodriguez for 42.3. So that still hasn't changed the percentage of default on that guy. Yeah, I think this is too slow. It's tough because I want to do stocks, but at the same time, it feels like loaning money's easier. It's just sometimes harder to find the people that aren't going to default on you. 
Okay, let's try to get some more of these. We might regret this because we haven't had a good offer for these guys yet, but share price is up to 11.3, though. Oh, wow, look at this. The only one that's going to save us anything is also going to knock 20% of a chance off. So we're not getting this one. All right, so I'm going to take one risk. Let's see, this guy is actually already too loyal to me, plus two. So I'm going to take a risk because this means I might get super lucky and start with like 20% discount on the stocks. I might get unlucky and start with 20% over, but let's see. Yeah, see, look at that, 11.9% discount to start. So I'm tempted to do this one because then I still get a pretty good discount, but the chances go way up. I'm going to do that one. Oh my gosh, look how slow it's going. I might still fail. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, here's the chance though. Please don't let the loyalty go down. Yes, okay. So he didn't become upset about unsuccessful negotiations. So that's good. So I have a 50-50 chance on that. But unfortunately, that's not what we wanted. Let's try these guys. Um, this person's calm, so let's make a deal. Oh yeah, this is what we want, two greens. So we have a better chance and a chance at a discount. There we go, we got it. Okay, so Diaz Oil. Oh, that's a new company. That wasn't on my original list. I didn't realize that quickly they would start a new company. All right, so I bought it for $7.25. And thank you for that. We will take my thing and resort it. Yeah, okay. All right, so now we've got two companies that hopefully people will buy our stocks. But we're, we're getting a little bit. It's not a whole lot, but we're getting a little bit. Just enough. Keep us afloat. That's the, that's the goal right now is don't go bankrupt. Okay, Diaz for $7.68. I bought it for $7.25, so that is... An improvement so make that sale and do I own any more no that got rid of it so I'm gonna blank that out on my spreadsheet okay um, yeah so I guess we just kind of keep keep going with this that wasn't much I didn't make much money on it, but I made something. So what I should do is, you know, no, I shouldn't. I was going to say I could do like, say, a 10%. It's got to be 10% more than what I spent on it. But I don't know that that would be a smart choice. I think, I think right now beggars can't be choosers. If I save anything, you know, if I make any money at all, even if it's a dollar, it's worth it, I think. And again, I might be completely wrong on that. Okay, I want to make sure it's a profitable company. So let's go back to Diaz Oil. Try these guys again. Ooh, I don't think I got it. Nope. And we'll try this one just to see if we get that huge discount off the bat. No, we didn't. Okay, so we're just going to fail this one. Um, now let's hope that our loyalty stays up. I like that it's two men here, even though I was just dealing with a woman. Okay, so luckily we didn't lose loyalty for doing that. Okay, that was Diaz, right? What about this one? Oh, there's no one in here that's got the uh, Alpine Bite. Here's a Calm. Xavier Simmons. Come on, I just need some money. <laughs> People, I want money. All right, hey, there we go. All right, so Alpine Bite Inc. I got for 8480.
and now we're letting some time go by and hoping someone buys stocks from me. Uh, we can't afford this, but I still wanted to look. Yeah, We couldn't afford it even if we had our money back. So we're still in the positive. That's <laughs> that's a pretty big thing for me. All right, we just got a loan paid back. And uh, we're back in the negatives. So let's take a look at our books here. We still have one loan out. Um, no one's defaulted yet. So I can either try to buy into stocks to balance this, or I can try to lend. So let's go to lending again. But I, I don't think I'm going to find anybody that's low enough at this point. I'm looking for something under 20% for sure. And if I can get it under 10%, that would be ideal. That, oh, there's an 861. Well, all right, we're going to do this one. All right, and we will take a cardinal. And we have 15.4K left. So let's go down the list here, 22.8. So Ashton's still at 42.3, and that's it. Okay, so no loans are going to happen, but we have some of this. So let's look for some more stocks. About, oh, wait, hold on. Hold the phone. Um, I don't think I'm going to get it, but I'll try. I think I'm going to get outbid right away. Yeah, see, I'm already don't have enough money. Okay, so let's go back up here. And look for this person. See if we can't make some sort of a deal. Ooh, that was a decent... Oh, but look how slow that's moving. Darn it. Wish I was more of a mover and a shaker. Making quick money fast, but in the beginning of the game, boy. That's just not happening. Whoops, I didn't mean to say use agent. I meant to go in here. Okay, first we try this person. Some sort of a discount. Nope, didn't get it. Okay, and then we'll try this person because they're an alarmist. Nope, see, they're already in the positive, so it's not going to happen for me. So even if this passes, like it, oh, it almost did, I would have refused it, I think. But now we run the risk of me hurting the, yep. So now it made him mad. He lost some loyalty. So I don't want to do that too often. Let's go back to Diaz again. Now, I would love it if I could find a calm person that also had the the crown for, what is that? I can't remember what it's called. Hostile, not hostile. Alerting. I don't know, what's it called? Alarmist, that's it. All right, alarmist, let's try you. So negative 845, I like that. Ooh, I don't think I got it, though. Darn it, that would have been cool, saving that much money. Oh, looks like it's moving slow. I lost again. I might have to stop trying that. Let some time run. Go back into here. Try this guy again. No. Okay, let's look at this person. I'm even with them. Minus two failed negotiation, plus two on beliefs. I don't think I want that to go any lower. So I don't want to risk it. Um, did we already do this one? No. So we'll try this guy. 
See, this is the slow part of, in the beginning. It's like I don't have the skill set to make these really happen for me. So it's really just based on a lot of luck. Ah, oh, that was close. I don't like having this much money in hand. I want it to be invested. Let's try another on these. That's a no. Anyone else calm? Yes. Oh, but I can't deal with that person. So that's the end of that company. This, these guys are profitable, but not a lot. Let's see. Here's a calm person that doesn't cost me money. So we'll try this. See, right now, I, as long as they're a profitable company, I really just don't even care. I'll just, you know, just trying to deal because I just want to sell their stocks anyway. Oh, here we go. He wants to buy Reed Oil for 11.4. 10.4 was my minimum, so made some money on that, finally. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the Reed Oil because I sold all my shares. So that's good. We just tried dealing with her. So we're back up to 40K. But we're barely in the positive here. Um, back to Diaz. Oh, we can't deal with him. Deal with this guy. I don't think we got it. Yeah. Negative four on that one. I don't I don't want to test that anymore. That's for sure. Let's go back to read um, Nah, can't do Jesus He's even I don't want to push him into the negatives Try him again Ooh, it's going all right. Nope, not going to get it, though. Dang it. How's my... He's neutral. Hmm, I can't deal with him anyway. I don't have enough influence. All right, so we're going to have to continue this later on because we've reached the end of our time for this episode. Um, so I'm going to continue along this route and and see if I can continue growing. That's that's the plan. But ideally, I want to buy into um, a low market cap uh, transport company like Stewart right here. But they'll probably go up. So I don't know if I'll end up buying into them, or I I could trade in this state for a while and then find another state that has a low market cap company that I can take control of. Um, but yeah, so we'll have to see how it turns out um, in the upcoming episodes. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here, and I hope you'll join me for the next episode. Take care, everyone.